Hi, this is Lila. I'm going to start making my chicken taquitos. I have here uh, five corn tortillas, large size, and I'm going to heat them up in the microwave for one minute so they can be pliable. I have a wet paper towel on the bottom and I'm going to put a wet paper towel on the top and I'm going to seal it around the edges so we can keep the steam inside. So let me microwave, microwave these for uh, one minute and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I just took my corn tortillas out of the microwave. Like I said earlier, I put them in there for one minute. So they're really hot. So now I'm going to place my corn tortillas on this yellow uh, platter here so I can make my taquitos. And what I do is I just, ooh, they're hot. I just put my corn tortillas like this around on the lip of the plate. This way I can lift them. They're very, very hot right now. Okay, like so. And here I have um, a tray of uh, rotisserie chicken that I bought at the supermarket. It's already cooked and seasoned. And I'm now going to place the chicken into my corn tortillas and roll them up. And in the meantime, I have my pan over there heating up while I do this, okay? So I'll just do these real quick. And you also need some toothpicks, okay? So what I do is I just take one of my corn tortillas and then I just start to shred the rotisserie chicken like so. You don't want to put too much, just enough so you can have a couple of bites. Okay? Then I just roll it up starting it at one end and usually I try to roll it through three times. Then I take a um, toothpick and I just insert it across like so. Okay? And there you have it. Okay? And I turn my tray around and then I take the next one and I do the same thing. I try to get the fat off of here, the skin. And I'm hoping this is showing up. I'm, it's evening time over here, so it's uh, my light is gone. So now I'm relying on just the light that I have here in my house, in my kitchen. Okay, like so. Just, just roll it on one end, like so. Fold it over. Get a toothpick and just insert it across like so. If you didn't see my earlier videos, I already made a video on the Spanish rice that I will be serving with this tonight. And we're also gonna have some um, beans and also uh, homemade guacamole to go on top of the taquitos. Taquitos are very easy to make. You can also use your own chicken, but if you're, you know, on short on time and or you're too tired to boil a chicken, you can by all means go to the store and buy a rotisserie chicken. They're really delicious and flavorful, and uh, yeah, it's a little expensive, but it helps cut down on time and uh, one less step to do. These came out really good. We liked them a lot, so my husband wanted some more, so I said, okay. And this shredded chicken goes a long way. I mean, I still have a lot, quite a bit left here. Okay. And there we go. Fold it. Roll it. And stick a pin in it. <laughs> a uh, toothpick. So anyway, here are my five taquitos. Three for my husband and two for me. And uh, let me clean my hands and I'll meet you back at the stove and we'll fry them. Okay, I'm back. And I already fried two of my taquitos, so I'm going to put the other three inside my um, hot oil pan here. Okay, I'm going to lay this down. I take the pen, the toothpicks out because they're just to hold everything. Once you put them in the pan, you don't need the toothpicks anymore. 
Be very careful, don't burn yourself. Here are my two taquitos that just came out of the pan. And then I got these three. Taquitos are very quick to make. If you already have your chicken already pre-bought, like I said, if you're in a time crunch, by all means, use a rotisserie chicken. It has delicious flavor, and uh, you can have taquitos in like 15 minutes or less. I don't worry about rolling them real thorough. You know, I just do the best I can. So I just wanted you to just see how I make my chicken taquitos. I'm using vegetable oil, about maybe an inch and a half, no more than two inches of oil, because you don't want a lot of oil in your chicken, you know. And um, also make sure you have a platter with paper towel and um, your taquitos will look like this, nice and golden brown. Well, you can see that. Yeah. Over medium heat, medium high heat. Okay, turn this one over. It'll seal itself once you let it cook on one side. Now be careful not to splatter oil on yourself. This one kind of came a little bit undone. That's okay. So there you go. Those are my taquitos. So I'll go ahead and finish browning these and then I'll bring you back and show you the final product. I'll plate it up. Okay, I'm back and here's our dinner for tonight. Chicken taquitos with homemade Spanish rice homemade guacamole. All I did was mash one large avocado with some garlic salt and put it on top of the taquitos, the chicken taquitos, and a side of beans that my husband bought from a restaurant. And I just fried them, refried them in some bacon fat and added some cheese. And this is what's for dinner tonight. Doesn't that look good? You can add lettuce, tomato, sour cream, uh, whatever you like to it. But we like it just like this, plain and simple. So anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see you real soon. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye.